Howdy y'all, it's your host Rogue. Welcome back to Love It Games. We're going to continue our journey of Life is Strange 2. Figure out what Sean and Daniel are going to do at their grandparents' house. So, uh, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. And we're going to hop right into this and figure out what's going on. Grandmother's house we go. Look the two little wolves running after each other. Old Sean and Daniel. Here we go. I think we've been at the grandparents' house for like a week. Beaver Creek, Oregon. Yeah, one week. You have a plastic bottle in front of a heater. Oh man, I could sleep all day long in this bed. This, this is pretty good so far. I love that Steven only has crime and train books. Apparently what he likes. Dad's picture. That's cool, Claire dug this up for us. That's such a baller in his suit. Wonder if Brody noticed his hula girl was missing. Claire wanted to throw her clothes away, but we convinced her that with some sewing and cleaning, it would be enough. That's a cool memento of our secret cabbing in the woods. You guys need to come forward, go to Seattle, Thanks, deal with Claire, your stuff. I will never wear these things. Tanya was training his precision with ease. Fucking awesome. This thing is creepy as all get out. Canteen. Too fucking creepy. Demon Maw. Base scoop. Proto disc. Alright. Burning cold. I had to carry Daniel over two miles. Yeah, we already read that. Dan's getting better. He's eating like a horse. Guess that's good. Been hanging out with CNS a lot. Pretty awkward after all these years. We're welcome to eggshells not to talk about Seattle or Karen. Huge elephant in the room following us. Reynolds rules. Yeah. Discretion. Hey, don't leave the house. Disconnection, no phone, no internet, daily chores. Homework for Daniel, LMAO, good luck with that, Claire. Grateful for being here, but need to get out. Gotta think of what's next. Alright. Well, one of your candy bottles is leaked out on the floor. That pissed me off. Yep. Daniel knows how to milk grandma for toys. <laughs> good. He deserves to be spoiled. Can't believe we actually spent a month out there by ourselves and survived. Get nine dollars left. Condoms. Take care of Brody. Pretty badass. 
Daniel looks like a total thug in his new pajamas. All right, so we looked at everything. Let's get dressed. <laughs> All right, I'm allowed to go out now. Sean! Finally! Sean, are you awake? Breakfast's almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay! I'm glad they get along so good. Choo choo! Daniel's Go definitely careful, the ideal please. grandson. Going too fast. We have to! We're late on schedule! Yeah, but we're gonna scare the passengers away. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> I am stuck inside Daniel. I don't care. Faster. You've literally glitched me into you. <sighs> What's up? Ah, look who's here. But uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. Um, it's okay. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't be late this time. <laughs> I won't. Daniel's pushing me out the way. All aboard! <sighs> Fuck. I broke this thing like 10 years ago. I can't believe they fixed it and kept it. Two bedrooms, bathroom, wash face. You gotta clean up oh, before you go eat. How did we survive for weeks out there with no hot water? I used to hate brushing my teeth. Just like Daniel. Now I can't get enough toothpaste. I saw some teeth in there a few nights ago. I wonder if it's Claire's or Steven's. Wow. They sure did stock us up on clothes for the winter. Shower. Toilet. Hope I'll never have to hold on to a bar to take a shit. Happens to the best of us. They have so many pills and stuff to take. Taco Bell. Sucks to be old. It's crazy how everything is neat and tidy here. Quite the change from our last home. It's been locked ever since we got here. I kind of don't give a fuck. I'm guessing that's his mom's room. Better not sneak in. They won't like it. Grandparents' room. Careful! Tunnels ahead. Hold your breath. Whoa! Better hit the kitchen quick. Claire's waiting for us. It'll be ready soon. She didn't say it was ready yet. I mean, you could clean up the table so y'all could actually eat breakfast. Steven doesn't like us in here when he's away. Toilet's free. Oh, I hope so. I hope we don't have to pay for the toilet. Daniel seems so happy to be here. Good. Oh my, look who's awake. Good morning, sleepyhead. It's that bad. Feels like a cloud. <laughs> I know. You can sit down, Sean. Aren't you hungry? Yeah. Actually, quite am. Daniel, <sighs> breakfast time. Your brother is ready. <sighs> Grandpa, show me your box star. Steven. Your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the boxcar later. I love how they're getting along. Do you need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. Well, that's good. <laughs> Thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers, but... 
The engine broke down. Yep. Has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo-choo! <laughs> Ah, uh, sugar. <sighs> he can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great, as usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. It's better than eating ravioli all the time. Yeah. It's nice to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It feels safe, unlike the big city. I get it. I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. We try to lend a hand, like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things oh, have sad. been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. Merry Christmas. If Steven would have walked in, he would have lost oh, his I shit. thought Steven was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma. I wanted to ask you something. About that locked room upstairs. I told you, there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning, then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? This is bullshit. Daniel, language. Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. His brother is like, don't. Fresh air. I'll wait up. for Sean, yeah. and then we'll go. We won't be left. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. And maybe you should tell him to watch his mouth. He should watch his it's mouth. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Daniel needs that. He doesn't know anything about her. I know, poor thing. But his mother isn't in there anymore. So is she alive or what? So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. Did mom ever contact you? She only talked to dad a few times. Then she was gone. Yes, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway, you have to respect my rules under my roof. He's had no problem with your rules. I... Daniel, which is going to be the mischievous one. Of course. He doesn't Always. understand. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Oh, Daniel nice. will freak. Thank you. Old toys are some of the best toys to play with, even though they're made of like lead paint and a bunch of stuff that'll kill you. Stuff you should never be around. 
you belong in the cupboard. Clean kitchen equals clean conscience. Mmm. Claire could totally be on one of those cooking shows. She would be brutal. Raw. Yeah. This is hard to... Pretty different from the one we had back at home. Housework, Steven. Vacuum, full towels, fixed drawer. John Daniel, tidy room. Put clothes in washing machine. Hug grandparents. Claire, everything else. Uh, no. Probably fix that drawer yourself for her and make her happy. This the garage? Can't tell, it's so dark. Under As always with Claire, I can't really tell if this is cute or bossy. Dear husband, if you do laundry, please follow the simple rules. Do not mix whites and colors ever. Use one cup of detergent, red box for each load. You wash my clothes, you use the delicate cycles. You don't ruin any more of my clothes, love wife. Daniel's right there. It's cool that Claire does her little paintings. I wonder where this was taken. I don't picture Claire and Steven as world travelers. Where was that picture of you guys on the beach from? We went to Hawaii when Steven retired, believe it or not. I heard. Oh, that's so cool. I could totally see you surfing. Did you love it? Well, it was too much paradise for me. I think Stephen could have stayed. Dad said Puerto Lobos was like a mini paradise. Of course he would. That doesn't mean you'll think that. We'll see. Tried one of Claire's books yesterday. It's basically a telenovela with white old women. Aww. Oh, you can relax and draw. Hey, I want to be in your drawing. Oh, don't draw me like this, Sean. I'm a mess. <laughs> don't worry. I'm drawing the whole room. Good. It's so nice to see you practice. You're so passionate. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. Why is it other? I'm not moving. Hope I look good. I didn't memorize what I'm drawing. I need to take a look. I don't. Oh, you barely got a sketch of him. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. Gee, I could never do that. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Yeah. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. I need to observe more before I can actually draw. Wow, that came out great. Feeling of love? Passion, princess? Uh, escape to pleasure? Man, such a big fireplace. And not even needed. That's luxury. I'm glad I picked these up. Gives me something to work on when they're all watching TV. Oh, this looks cool. Too bad it's broken. 
Of course she is. But she's in our thoughts as well. That's nice. Can I not ask Claire about it? Ah, uh, poor man. We've all been there. I better catch up with Steven and get those keys. I haven't seen any actual fish in there since we got here. Have you ever seen any actual fish in there? Never. Thank you for tidying up a little. It's nice of you. Yeah. No problem. Uh, you do what you can. You help your grandparents. Hey, Claire? What's on your mind, Sean? Uh, Dad's funeral. Do you know anything about Dad's funeral? There was a service. We couldn't make it in time, but we sent flowers. I'm sorry, Sean. It's okay. I just want to make sure somebody took care of him. Hopefully, he didn't have any you friends. Can go so he did. Him at some point. At some point. Yeah. If you had confronted all your stuff in Seattle. What did you think of Dad? You can tell me. I won't get mad. Well, your father was... Uh, he was his own person. That's it? I mean, I know you guys didn't really get along. It's just... Esteban was very different from us. And he never took a single step to change any of that. Sounds like that. He wasn't one to smooth things over. Trust me. I know the type. But he did raise you boys on his own. Can't argue with that. Yeah. He worked his ass off for us. Wish I realized that sooner. Don't worry, Sean. How long have you and Stephen been married? Oh, my. Forever. <laughs> but a good forever. That's good. Almost 40 years. Oh, man. That's more than twice my age. You both were married during Y2K. <laughs> Thanks for making me feel even older. <laughs> I assume you must have a girlfriend or... <laughs> I almost started dating this one person. But I guess, not anymore. I understand. I'm sorry, honey. It's not fair that you have to deal with all this. You need to tell her everything will happen. I hope. It gets harder with time when you don't. What's the story with your neighbor? Charles? Oh, poor man used to be a basketball coach, but had to move out here after his wife's passing. He's got a job at the rail yard now, and, well, he's still recovering. Wow. I mean, that's sad. We tried to give him a hand, keep an eye on his drinking problem. His son Chris is a little angel, though. Oh, so I you're... think he could be a good influence on Daniel. Okay. His boy has spent too much time on the road. Yeah. And I'm not always the best role model. I didn't catch that she was well, the neighbor. Thanks, Claire. In uh, the awesome welcome. adventure. The adventure is it's a awesome always adventure a pleasure Daniel. to speak with Here. my grandsons. Okay, so that means Chris is right next door. Jeez. I told him about leaving his toys around. Oh, he's a kid. I think they ain't bust your butt on like that so I have tripped on some cards. Hmm. Think I need a handy assistant. Can you hand me the glue in the cupboard behind me? Sure. Hold on. Whoa! Careful. Sorry, I I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. Let me just... Uh, okay. 
Sorry. My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but uh, I'm a lazy old man. Hey, uh, can you close the door? I want to talk for a second. Oh. That'd be super easy to bolt to the wall. That's such a risk when uh, you're elderly. It's the power cable, of course. Yeah, it happens all the time. So, listen, I've uh, noticed things with Daniel. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? You should tell the truth to begin. Yeah. I do. But uh, how the heck is that possible? I mean, he can, well, you know more than me. Uh, not really. It started in Seattle after everything happened. I wish I could explain, but that's how it is now. And we have to live with it. I, I really don't know what to think. He needs a doctor or something. Then I'd probably never see him again. Yeah, I get it. He needs you. He needs him more than, than doctor. anything else. And by the way, let's keep this between us. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. She wouldn't understand. She adores Daniel and just wants both of you to be safe and happy. What I'm trying to say is maybe you should stay here with us. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico, but Portos Loco, Porto Locos. Thanks. Maybe we could, but <sighs> why not? I know being out here in the sticks with us old farts isn't exciting, but this is your home now. <laughs> it's cool. Kind of different, but <sighs> I just don't want you to get into trouble because of us. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids? Of course not. Don't argue with your grandpa. But everything's different now. I know. I know. Well, just think about it. But don't torture yourself. I will. Hey, uh... Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed? Oh, uh, sure. <clears throat> Here. You guys enjoy the sun. The grandpa is a lot more chill than I thought. And be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess inside. <laughs> Thanks. Sean should help fix the drawer. Fix this cabinet, what's going to end up being the it's death of Grandpa. see you in my lair. You know, you were afraid to come in here as a kid. Really? <laughs> wow. Is that you? Mm, yeah, that was taken when I retired. The mayor came to congratulate me himself. That's awesome. Yeah, really great day. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I wish you... Man. Who did this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was our neighbor's son, Chris. Yeah, I, I helped him and his dad build that treehouse. Why are you holding a fire sword? I'm, I'm not sure. You know, that kid sure has an imagination. <laughs> nice. Uh, 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 well, I'm sorry, Sean. I know you guys miss your games and your websites, uh, but... Trust me, a, a break from all this can only do you good. You know, and it's it's safer that way. Yeah, yeah. It's been a month. He's had a break. Steven sure takes his hobby. Model trains are fun. I used to 
play around with them a little bit when I was younger. That looks like uh, Rachel oh, Amber. Uh, you found this. I uh, I just forgot to. Uh... It's okay. It's been a while since I've seen her face. Uh, yeah. I like taking a look at it from time to time. Doesn't it hurt? Yeah, it does. But she still it looks on. just like Rachel's mom. I can't prove what she's done, but I, I, uh, I think I understand. Good. The one I who uh, got drugged out. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, Jean. Please don't. Uh, please don't say anything to Claire about this, okay? Don't worry, I won't. Catalog, any, ooh, disco ball. How come you have a disco ball? Are you like throwing parties and stuff? No, this is a, a souvenir, you know? I actually met your grandma during a disco night, believe it or not. Claire told me you guys have been married for like 40 years, so it kind of makes sense. <sighs> not sure it was a long time ago, but uh, I miss we stuck together. I miss how they play and D&D figures. Thin. That's cool. Well, call me old-fashioned, but uh, I think that's how marriage should be. Can you say anything? No. All right. Peace out the door. Ah, oh, there you are, Sean. Got the key? Hey, I have to go out and run some errands. Can you do me a big favor? Do you know how to work a washing machine? Since I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? They're in the bathroom basket. Totally, yeah. Um, no problem. Thanks so much. Feel free to keep on tidying your stuff, too. It's good for the health to keep the house clean. Definitely. It is. Daniel can help. Ah, and remember, for your own safety, no phone and no internet. I know, I know, boring rules. Don't worry, Claire. Hey, Daniel, there's work for you. Uh, no, I'm busy. D busy my ass. Come over here. <laughs> you gotta find me first. <sighs> Jeez. Clearly you're upstairs. I don't know when Daniel will be able to go back to his school. He could deal with us in Seattle and he could. This is fun every once in a while, but it gets old every other night. See you tonight, buddy. Claire, Claire can drop pretty damn good. Guess it runs in the family. I used to draw pretty good, and it's been many, many years since I was a draw and sketch. This is fun every once in a while, but it gets old every other night. What's even the point of having so much crockery? It's all for looks. You never use it. You have the fancy stuff and it never gets used. This one all buggy. Or camera controls went gotcha. all buggy. Nope. Hmm. He clearly sounded like he's upstairs. Recipes. I get that he's sick of all this shit, but I miss dad and his silly Santa Gringo accent. 
Gotta do the laundry first. Pencils, fireplace, sex novels for grandma. It's cool he took us in, but how long are we gonna stay here? Well, that wasn't conspicuous. Oh. Ain't those bad wooden blocks. Where the hell is he hiding? Well, he ain't here. The only other room open is the uh, bathroom, unless he snuck in. It is so. I know you're in there. Gotcha. What the? Huh? Behind you. Yeah. Very funny. No more hiding. Seriously. Okay, okay. What do I have to do? You tidy the mess in our room, and I take care of the laundry. Cool? Again? We always have to clean everything. Yeah, you I pick up after yourself. Yeah, I hear you. Never mind, okay? Cool. Don't never mind. Thanks, have to pick up his crap. He'll never learn unless he does. All right, let's get it over with. I want to play with the train. All right, time to take care of that laundry. Thanks, Claire. Can pick up the pajamas too. How many programs does this thing have? Okay, it will do. Now we are a man on a mission. A young man. I can't believe Steven spent his whole life building this. He's a real artist. Hey, what's up? Oh, excuse me, sir. You did not win a ticket for this trip. You got a hit check. Come on, Chief. I just want to see how this works. That's now, right. I to be a real superhero and save the train from disaster. That's right. I remember playing this when I came here years ago. Man, things were so different back then. This will come through here. You can... Oh, there we go. I didn't know I could move the camera. This model is so amazing. Yeah, Grandpa says it took decades to build. Can you believe it? It's crazy. It's way cooler than anything I ever did in Minecraft. Beep, beep. Oh, I told it to stop, I thought. Oops. Watch out! The train is going to derail! Now to make the train stop, it'll come back around. Oh, 
This toy train is kind of soothing, actually. They are. Get it stopped. Let it go. Let it go forward. I wonder if Steven has ever seen a flying train. That'll make it go all the way through that tunnel and back around. What happened? Hmm. Sounds like something's stuck in that tunnel. Actually, was something stuck in there? All right. How do I? That's cool. I I miss planet trains. Hey, man. Can you? Fix this frame up there? Easy. It just pushed me backwards. You gonna fix it? Let's see. Boring laundry? Done. Time for fresh air. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> nice. That thing was killing me. Daniel is so gonna get us kicked out of here. Careful! Sean! Oh, shit! I got you! Seriously, man! <laughs> pussy. Little brother colony of pussies. Not cool. Do I need to put this in the dryer? No, we just let them freeze. All right. Claire and Steven are super kind to us, but a bit smothering. Man, can you imagine watching a slasher out here? Deep in the woods. No one around. No way. Two stairs. Hey, Daniel. Can you show it's me all the fish? fish? Easy. Just watch. See? Hello, little guy. He's a beta. Oh, he's beautiful. That's a huge tank for Vita. Is there anything else I could do with Daniel now that grandparents? Hey, do you think you can fix that? Gee, that's pretty small. Let me try. I did it! Hey! Check out the sail. That's so this awesome. Is mom's ship? I don't know, man. I guess. So what is your mom's name? I'm super curious if it was Sarah. You'll go, Chris. Of course he begged for these. Can't really blame him, though. Anything Tell else before I go Catholic? outside? Does not look. All right. No. Time to see the sun again. Get it. All right. Time to see the sun again. Get out. Okay. Time to burn off some calories. What do you say? Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. So 
told her to be outside. Reminds me of the cabin. Right? Ow! Ow! <laughs> Ow! 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 <laughs> Watch out for the pack. <laughs> A nice size backyard. They can't go that way. Okay, I'm stuck in the tree. I don't want to go in the shed just yet. I'm looking around. We stopped our training session since we got here, so... It sucks. So that's the treehouse Stephen helped out with. Pretty awesome. That is pretty cool. That means, yeah. Chris's house. Check it out. Cool. Where did he go? Oh, he's over there. This place is actually kind of nice. Wonder what it's like in the summer. The ground, you'll find out. Get ready for storage wars. What's wrong? Frozen shut. Of course. Sean, look. This is where we saved his life. That's so cool. Yeah, uh, we did. Uh, it looks like you're okay, though. You were almost floating. I, I was, I was. I could feel myself in the air. It, it was awesome. That's an awesome costume. Who's your favorite superhero? I love Power, Power Bear. Bear. <laughs> oh man. I have the Mega Power Bear. You should check it out. Dude, that's so cool. Chris, oh God. Look, I, I am so sorry. Are you okay? Um, Dad, I'm fine. I promise. Are, are you sure? Listen, I shouldn't... Do you know them? It it's okay, Dad. They're cool. He loves superheroes, even Power Bear. That's sweet. Ah, gotcha. Hey there. Are you staying with the Reynolds? Oh, uh, yeah. There are grandparents. Oh, I see. Oh, geez, Chris. You don't have any damn shoes on. I'm sorry, buddy. Let's get you inside. I, uh, yeah. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, and, uh, if Claire asks, tell her everything is fine. Sure. Uh, no problem. Cool. See you around then. I can't remember the dad's Thanks, name now. Thanks, guys. See you later? Yes, we will. <sighs> Daniel! Did you forget everything about the rules? Hey, already? he saved Sorry, his life. Sean. Did you want me to let him fall? Really? No, he did the right thing. No. If you, you... can help somebody, you help them. You did the right thing. But listen, we can't let anybody know. We have to keep a low profile out here. He's like my age. I bet you would have done the same as that thing. No, I'm sure he would have. Mad. I'm not mad, dude. It's... It's over. Daniel, 
Remember that we're hiding out. So no training and no showing off your power. From now on, you stick with me all the time, okay? <laughs> Beaver Creek, Oregon, the next morning. I am at the neighbor's. Oh, fuck. That kitten never listens. You need to learn to change your shirt, man. Okay. Time to get Daniel at the Ericsons. Erickson. That was... Remember the dad's name. At the neighbor's. Oh, Daniel didn't give a shit about what I told him yesterday. Look, look. Get dressed. Picked up a little bit. I should get dressed to go look for Daniel. Beaver Creek. Oh, I guess that's the sign from the train. The drawing came out really nice. The first fucking rule. What was that kid running away from? Did his father see something? Player's drawing. Well, I actually think we're going to call it an episode here. We'll uh, continue on and go look for Daniel in the next episode. Have a wonderful day. See you guys in the next one. And God bless you.